Hey folks, it's Jiren. Welcome back to Let's Play Earth of Fire and Tree with World War One mod, and we are Austro Hungary. And uh, uh, we're losing supplies. How am I l wasting so many supplies? Where are my supplies being wasted? Supplies. We need 31 supplies. God, we don't have enough. How the hell do I need so many supplies? 200 being produced. Now we're in somewhat positive now. Alright, so we'll, we'll just focus on to making uh, supplies for now. We got some militancy going on. Dissidents. Yeah, do we have anybody here that can affect dissidents? Nope. Uh, Trethen Pack. No, nothing. We, we got a lot of people though. Uh, no, that will not be it. Intelligence might be. Nope. Uh, yeah, foreign minister? Nope. Treth and pack? Not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something against dissidents. Oh, we need consumer goods. Okay, so we'll get consumer goods to the maximum and the rest will be for supplies. We're still losing supplies, so yeah. It's either we're getting dissidents or we're getting freaking out. We still don't have enough consumer goods. 41. Come on, unlock. Luck here. Ah, god damn it. Strategic resources. That's pretty cool. All right, mechanical engineering. So yeah, it's terrible. Okay, let's do a specialist training. Yeah, we're allowed now to do it. We'll gain a lot of experience for all new troops. But I don't think we'll see any new troops for a little while. So decryption engine, encryption engine, small arms and infantry are not supported. That's not really a problem because uh, by the time they get back into the research we will be done with that now we're losing we're not losing uh dissidents that's bad Ooh, some ice efficiency Ooh, we can also find a lot more troops infantry marines infantry will be nursing a lot of artillery stuff coming up uh, let's see now uh, we're in November, so we'll let them search that. Oh, it's 1912, though. So it's still even too far. Uh, we can upgrade the cavalry, meanwhile. What else can we do? All of that's 1912. So let's drop all of that. Uh, theory. Don't want to research theory. We've got some common structures here, integrated supports, 1910, all 1910, so let's grab these 1910 techs. And what do we still have? Decryption engine, so that should be in secret? No. Here, decryption engine, 1914, that's pretty far ahead. 1912, that's pretty far ahead too. So yeah. But aviation will be fine in a couple of weeks so we will put it up there for now we're losing a lot of uh, stuff I don't know if that's good or bad or terrible probably terrible very terrible yeah supply is going down really fast why I'm not trading anything is a good question we got some lack of troops, but there's no way we're going to reinforce that army yet. Uh, still need to keep an eye out onto everyone. Yeah, freaking stockpile, go away, man. Production. Set consumer good to that. Set supply to that. Are we able to stack up? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, yeah. 
That's pretty bad if we run out of... Dissidence is freaking annoying too. Let's see if we can stop the time. God damn it. Let's see if we can stop at 8 o'clock. Because I've heard that's the... Exactly what we need to produce. So producing 41. Dissidence is still increasing. And we kind of add more. Yeah, industrial capacity is really terrible early game. So it's just uh, speed up everything. We're still piling up a lot of dipole points. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them. Probably nothing, so that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stop. Zero dipole points. Everything in uh, research. More research possibles, so we don't have. Oh, we have 18. Alright, so we're now in 1911, so let's see what we can get for 1911. Yeah, we got some militia attacks, but yeah, I guess I'll grab that. Oh, 1912 is too far ahead. Artery wise, nothing, nothing, nothing. Aircraft, we're already working on the aircraft. We're already working here on everything we need. I guess some theory could not be too bad, so yeah, just reduce the decay. Yeah, let's grab these. These seem pre seems pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, seems good. We got some pretty good industry. Research, uh, mechanical engineering, whatever that is really doing or should be doing. I have no idea, to be honest with you guys. So let me know. Let me know what that should be doing exactly. These numbers, because I'm clueless right now. But I'm still going to war. Can't be worse than uh, Franz Conrad von Otzendorf. And be ready to hear that name a lot, Otzendorf. Because that's going to be the name I'll be calling all the way through Russia if we do win. Or all the way through Austria to Vienna <laughs> if we're defeated. Uh, so supplies, we're still losing supplies. It's being really freaking annoying. And industrial, ah, freaking dissidents, go away, man, go away, dissidents. I don't want to see you anymore. Let's just set that to uh, prioritize reinforcement supplies. No, it doesn't work like that. Let's get uh, reinforcement in that case. Still producing a lot of goods, and we're losing some. Uh, okay absolutely no clue what's going on uh, let's see what we can do with our spies meanwhile nothing <laughs> we have seven spies in the Russian Empire they have very high industrial capacity uh, they have good techs production some uh, air base air base really hmm. that's annoying me a bit all right, grand battle plan. Yeah, supply is being really shitty. Hmm. <laughs> we really don't have enough IC. And until we are at war, nothing we can do. Can I declare war? Uh, neutrality is higher than present threat. So how much do we need? Neutrality at least 25. It's currently 84. And I'm working on threat on them, right? And I guess we're running out of supplies, so that's great. That's uh that's real austro hungarian thing to do, not supplying our troops. Really classy. Lack of troops. Yeah, still the same thing. A banging uprising. Hmm. That will be interesting to see what comes out of that. 
Uh, dissidence is still going down in the country. Unity is still going up, so that's pretty nice. And the uh, intelligence on Romania. Romania. Uh, increased ref. Yeah. We will increase ref. Uh, I guess that's what we need, right? Ooh, they have very poor IC. And they have no supplies too. How about Russia? Do you have supplies? You have supplies, Russia? Please tell me you don't have any supplies. They have massive amount of supplies. Eh. Oh well, and they're building even more air bases. That's just sad. Saddening. Crazy, crazy. Oh well. Ah, US Army Maneuver on Mexican borders. Oh, really? Mexican revolutionaries. Really? What the hell is going on in Mexico? What are you guys doing? Hmm. We'll see how that turns out. It's probably communist, right? I don't know. I guess it's communist. Anyway, we're Austro-Hungary. It's not like it matters to us. Maybe to Germany. Maybe Germany does care about what's going on in uh, Mexico and USA. But we don't here. We don't at all. And we're still having really poor IC. Really poor. We're losing everything. We have units and poor supply. That's not really... Uh... <sighs> We, we're getting no supplies at all. That's just sick. How the hell do we not get any supply? People are dying. They're just dying. God damn it. Can't we just start the war? Oh, we found Machu Picchu. Interesting. Interesting fact. Ooh, the atomic nucleus has been discovered. We got some election. Uh, seems like it's pretty much everybody still there. So... Okay. Hudsonderf is actually foreign minister. Hmm. Freaking Hudsonderf. Stop doing useless things. They're being influenced by German Empire toward us. So that's not great. Why are you not influencing Italy? I mean, you should be influencing Italy, man. Why are you not influencing Italy, dumbass? Oh, so Mexico, something happened in Mexico? No idea. It's now Porfiriato, Mexico, and Mexican revolutionaries. We'll see how that turns out. Interesting. And uh, it seems to be pretty good running up to now. I haven't got a crash, so I guess the reinstall was what was needed. Ooh, war economy. War economy plus 25. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be very good. Minus 25% money, but we're actually gonna get some uh, icy, right? Ooh, yeah, we're getting some icy now. Nice. We'll actually be able to supply and produce stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, delay before attack 48 hours, fine. Uh, lack troops, more efficient laws can be enacted, 3 years draft. So, 3 years draft, peacetime mind power, rotation, plus 2%. Alright, we'll just grab that, we'll increase the manpower a bit. We don't really need them now because we already have a quite massive army, an empty massive army that's not really useful. But we're closing on to something now. We got 100 IC, so we're actually starting to produce things up. Which is pretty great. Pretty damn interesting to know that we're actually doing something for once. Yeah, so that's the militia upgrading. Uh, inefficient research. Which research is inefficient? Operational level. So this one is inefficient. So let's remove that. Right? Yeah, let's remove that. 1914, so... No way we're going to get that anytime soon. We're just in August. People's Army. Any any other tech? No. 
infantry. We're nearing 1912, so we'll be rocking back onto these. So let's add them to the bottom of the list. 1912, 1912. Hopefully we'll have time to... Is there a quick way to see what year is the tech here? Or we actually have to open it up, start research. Okay, mobile offensive, we'll move it to the top because it's 1911. All right, we got some advancements technology wise. Uh, what else? 1912, 1912, 1912, 1912. 1912, 1912, 1912, 1912. So we got a lot of 1912 tags. Uh, anything 19 more useful? Not really. All right, so we'll see uh, if that goes well. All right, so even more technology being discovered. And uh, I think that will be enough for an episode, folks. We're actually starting to get some industrial capacity going on. And hopefully we'll soon be at war. So, folks, this is SJ. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, share. And make sure to comment what you're thinking about my playthrough. Because I have no experience in Earth of Iron Tree. So, I'm very welcome to what you're thinking. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Right? So, see you next time.